Welcome to one of my favorite rhythmic subjects, paradiddles, borrowed from the drummer's rudiments. And we're just going to play the most basic paradiddles today, which is enough for our purposes. But anyway, I love paradiddles. I didn't always love paradiddles. I despised them at first because they were so difficult. And that's what I hope is going to happen with you today. Uh, you may fall in love with them immediately, which is great. But if you find them difficult and never want to touch them ever again, uh, I encourage you to keep going and you'll be like me and fall in love with them too because of the huge benefits that working on paradiddles will have on your sense of time and the way you think about music. So stick around. It's going to be fun. Promise. So I'm going to kick things off just by playing a paradiddle. There are many kinds of paradiddles, but I'm just going to play a simple one. And I'm going to do it to a four count at 60 beats per minute. And at first, without any explanation, here goes nothing. Wait for the downbeat on the one. I think I got it. So let's analyze what's going on here. Well, first thing, let's recognize what the four count is doing. So let's verbalize the meter, singing the up beats as well. Ready? Here it comes. One and two and three and four and 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 one. So that is kind of the canvas on which we are going to play our paradiddles. And so what's going on? Let's analyze the pattern. So we're going to wait for the one. Here it comes. And I'm going to verbalize which hand plays as the beats come by. Ready? Two and three and four and left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, 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 left. So, you got it? <laughs> Give that a practice. Uh, you might want to pause the vid video and just catch up and, until, until you're able to do that a few times. And then we're going to talk about it again. We're going to go a little deeper. So hang in there. We're, go we're going somewhere really interesting. Promise. Now we're at the juicy part of the lesson. And it's this. There's no need to think about this as eight separate events that have to be plugged into this four count with all the upbeats and then somehow coordinated on the left and right sides of your brain and body. No. The key to success here is to do something called chunking. So instead of playing eight separate events, we're going to play two groups of four. And then we're going to master each group. And then we can think about and execute each of those two groups as if they are a unified idea. So here's the pattern. The first group is this. And it starts on the one in your left hand. Here comes the one. Ready? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, left. Got it? So that's a chunk. Think of left, right, left, left is a chunk. The second chunk starts on the three in your right hand. And it's a mirror image of what we just played. Two and three and four and one and 
two and three and four and one and two and right, left, right, right. Got it? So you might want to pause the video and practice that a little bit. Then we're going to come back and uh, turn the heat up a little bit. Before continuing, I want to take our notion of chunking to the next level by using language to organize our thoughts and also to trigger our physical gestures. So we have two chunks of four notes. The first chunk goes like this. Wait for the one. Left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, left. Let's give it a name. Left special. Left special. Left special. Got it? Let's do the same thing on the right. Starts on the three, ready? Right, left, right, right. Right, left, right, right. Name it. Right special. Right special. Right special. Now let's put them together, ready? Left special. Right special, left special, right special, left special, right special, left special, right special. Got it? Now we're having more fun. That's a hundred beats per minute. But it's alright, we're not afraid. Let's give it a go. Ready? Here it comes, starting on the left. Left special, right special, left special, right special, left special, right special, left special, right special. Now let's start on the right side, ready? Here it comes. Right special, left special, right special, left special, right special, left special, right special, left special. Now we're really having fun. That's 140 beats per minute. By the way, uh, way too fast for me to even try to articulate lefts and rights and specials and ones and twos and threes and fours. And So let's just see how it goes. Ready? Now, one thing you're going to discover at this tempo, your technique now becomes exposed. And you're going to discover that any kind of tension now is going to get in the way of you playing the double pump part of these paradiddles. But let's see how it goes. Ready? Now on the other side, ready? Congratulations to you for making it this far. I'm imagining quite a few people have walked away by now, and that's okay, because we're here. Anyway, I hope you came away with a, an appreciation for the value of chunking, both in terms of how we think about a complex musical idea, but also in terms of our physical execution. And I also hope you came away with a deep appreciation of how our sense of rhythm and our body motions, also known as our technique, are absolutely intimately inseparable from each other. And also some words of encouragement. Oh, don't worry if you found this difficult. Just give it a go over the course of a few days. Start at a slow tempo where you're able to count the meter out loud, express left, right, left, right, etc. And Work your way up in tempo slowly over the course of a few days, and I guarantee you every day you're going to find it easier and easier, and you're going to reach a point where you're like, wow, why did I ever think that was hard? So give it a go and enjoy the results.